One of man's oldest and most important occupations is agriculture. It deals with the cultivation of the soil for the production of food. Remembering history is a good thing, especially if you can learn from it. More than a hundred years ago, these were used by farmers to break the soil up so farmers could plant it. They were pulled by horses. And you know, back then it was considered a good thing to have clean fields, nothing but black dirt in between rows of corn. But farming's evolved a lot since then. Today, it's a good thing to have dirty fields, leaving some stubble or plant matter on the field. It's beautiful out here. And you know, the real beauty is at your feet. They've been no-till farming for 30 years, and they take regular measurements so they know this is working. You can see the earthworms are very active, mm -hmm. and then you can see the organic stuff in the soil breaking down slowly, and that becomes part of the soil. For Randy Cavanis, innovation and trying new things is worth it. We've been no-tilling for 29 years now, and we've seen a dramatic shift in, in how much soil is lost, but an actual improvement of soil quality and soil organic matter that's gone up dramatically from the two and three percents to five to six to seven percent in some fields. To use no-till means they keep what's left of the corn stalk or soybean stalk in place after harvest. It's like an organic hairnet of sorts that keeps the soil from blowing away or washing away. And there are other benefits too. Soil samples showing a trend of organic matter in the soil going up, which is really good. That's your soil tilth, that's better for water infiltration, nutrient retention, so that also keeps less water running off, cleaner water, better soil, better crops, all by a technique called no-till. Trying new things, embracing new practices. It's not just about securing a yield, it's about securing a future for the next generation of Cavanaugh's family farmer. The soil is, is ours on, on a deed, but it, it belongs to the future generations as well. We got it from the past, and by being able to actually see that quality improve, we actually think we can leave something better for the future generations. Everybody talks about that. We can actually do that. To learn more, check out conservationcountsiowa.com. With your Conservation q and I'm Lori Johns.